Dali Flying Start enjoys the active support of many of the thoroughbred industry's first team players. Well, we've never had anything like it, so we're so lucky to have something like the Dali Flying Start course now. You know, we've never had where, where they've taken a, a large group of young students in, young enthusiasts in, and said, we're going to train you. Uh, and we've, we've got the result of them now coming out and into the industry in, di in different walks of life. I know if I was an employer, I'd be delighted to have a Flying Start graduate working for me. I'd be delighted to have the whole team of them working for me. I think they're great. Uh, the students have a wonderful opportunity because the Flying Start course is free. It's all scholarship. I'm sure it costs Sheikh Mohammed a huge amount of money to subsidise it. Uh, but these people get a free education which will stand to them for the rest of their lives. I think it gives people the most amazing opportunity to experience different facets of, of the racing business, to understand the business side of it as well as actually getting close up with the horses and the most important part in, in my view which is the horsemanship. And it gives everyone that opportunity, it doesn't matter what country they come from, it doesn't matter their gender, it, particularly for women I think it's a huge opportunity. And it's a, it's a wonderful thing. I'm, I'm rather envious of those who get to do it. I think the Flying Start programme will have a, a, a big impact in the future. Uh, it's offered some very, very talented uh, young men and women a chance to get a great deal of experience abroad. A, a number of them are really very, very, very talented young people, and I can see them going all the way to the top. I think Sheikh Mohammed's generosity uh, will definitely be appreciated by them over the years. I, the cost of the course is really quite significant uh, and Sheikh Mohammed has been very generous in sponsoring these people to travel around the world and open so many doors for them. You know, there's trainers and breeders and bloodstock agents that wouldn't normally open their doors for any old student and they've been welcomed. Any structured education in the racing industry is very important because it's something we've lacked and so this is the first real initiative to uh, provide a, an education program at that sort of level within racing. Keep the momentum going and, and, and keep these, these great enthusiastic youngsters coming out of the course you know, with, with the value of this great training. It, it's got to be good. I think the Darley Flying Start from an international perspective is a huge advantage to any of the students who make the cut. Um, they are exposed on a global basis to every and all aspects of the racing industry and breeding industry around the world. Well I think because His Highness believes in one thing which is quality and excellence in racing and he feels that if he can develop a program to expand into the industry all throughout the world people that have been well educated and well informed about the sport and about all, all aspects of the sport that it's going to be a better world for everybody and a better racing for everybody. So to date we have 47 graduates of 16 different nationalities working in seven different countries. I'm delighted to say they're all working in the thoroughbred industry as far afield as Australia, Brazil, Dubai and quite a number in England, Ireland and the US in the centres of the bloodstock industry. Dali Flying Start graduates are in demand across the spectrum and past graduates have gone on to Richard Mandela, Todd Pletcher, Pinoak Stud, Anthony Stroud, Kern Linningston Bloodstock, TNT Farm and Dali. What I found amazing about the Dali Flying Start course was at the end your final project is a business plan um, and when you sit down and do the business plan you're bringing in all aspects of the Flying Start course from the last two years. You're bringing in the management aspects, the practical aspects, the computer work um, and it really just pulls it all together at the end and gives you the confidence to say yeah I've learned so much on this course and you know you can now do a sort of five-year financial broadcast and really put a put a financial plan in, into play. It, that was for me one of the most amazing experiences. My business plan is more of a feasibility study of setting up a a uh, full-blown farm in New Zealand uh, whereby we'd be standing stallions uh, looking at the prospect of having 40 to 60 broodmares and, and selling yearlings commercially. My future plans are to go home and set up some racing syndicates to race at Woodbine Racetrack and I'm going to manage a small racing farm. The mainland of China um, is no horse racing betting but in the future in the there must be horse racing betting in China. I'm interested in this market.
it's actually an interesting market opportunity within Spain at the moment as they've just deregulated the bookmakers which means they're allowed to open um, retail betting shops across the country so I saw that as an opportunity to introduce um, form um, information in Spanish both on Spanish racing and um, European racing that people will be betting on um, so that sort of ties in with my media interest as well um, so the business plan will be a form guide to, to service the bookmakers there. It is about so much more than equine knowledge. The programme's worldwide span gives trainees the chance to absorb different national cultures, build self-confidence, develop new strengths and redefine their ideas of the attainable. All the details of this uniquely respected course can be found on the Dali Flying Start website. It is an incomparable opportunity for those with the will to win through in an industry that is keen to attract the brightest of the now generation to help shape its future. Dali Flying Start, for those with the passion and commitment to climb above the foothills and scale the peaks.